Mm, mm, mm. Stick around. Hello fellow vapers, Vaping Newbie here, and really I should uh, save some of these bloopers because they're humdingers. Uh, we're going to be talking about juice tonight, and this is from a company called VapeMeat.ca. The link for their website and Facebook page are down below. They are a large Canadian vape company. Um, you go on their website, and uh, they have a massive line of juices. There's good hardware, and they also sponsor several TV shows uh, via internet. So uh, they are well ensconced in the vape community up here in Canada. So much so, in fact, that they were one of the major sponsors of Vape Can 2015 and are a major sponsor of Canadian Vape Expo, which is a traveling um, vape convention throughout Canada. So if you're in Canada, you're going to want to watch that. So I'll put a link, uh, a link down below for that as well. And if you're in the northern United States, um, you might want to pop up over the border and visit one of their, uh, one of their conventions. Um, as well, they do, as far as I understand, ship to the United States. So... To my U.S. cousins, you want to going to keep a, an eye out for that. If you want to going to keep a, see, that's the type of blooper I should keep. Anyhow, you're going to want to keep an eye out for that. Um, Joey sent me some juice to look at. It's a new line, or at least it's new to me, that they developed recently um, on their Facebook page, and we're going to get to it in a minute. Uh, basically, uh, as we go, I'll be telling you the kind of device I'm using, the wattage, and the um, resistance of the the uh, build that I have on there. But before I start, as always, taste is so subjective. What you like, I might not. What I like, you might not. We always have to keep that in mind, folks. So, without further ado, let me get the first one and the reason for me searching them out online. The line we're going to be looking at from Vape Meat is called Encode. And uh, we always look at the packaging. It's a glass bottle, uh, dripper style. And um, on the label, it has a batch number. It has a bottled date. It has a nice, something I've never actually uh, seen. It actually will say, if I can get it focused, 19 plus only. Uh, and then the front, front label, I just love it. It's a barcode. And then you can see here where it says encode and then encode. And this one, this particular juice, the first one, is the reason why um, I wanted to make an order from Vape Me. Um, any of my friends can tell you I like white powdered donuts. I mean, I like white powdered donuts. So this got me thinking, why isn't anybody making a white powdered donut vape? Um, I looked around, but I couldn't find anything. And then uh, I posted it on Facebook. And I said, does anybody or can anybody try to make it? And uh, right away, somebody responded saying, vape meat has something. So I went on their line, and sure enough, the encode has a juice called white and on the bottom it says fresh white uh, sorry fresh powdered donut um, now this again is a 20% PG 80% VG juice and I have it in my limo too and I, I built this really high purposely it's a 1.6 ohm coil and I'm vaping it at 21 watts Um, when this package arrived, I couldn't help myself but try it right away. And then, I, I was loving it without a doubt, but I couldn't put my finger on it. It wasn't 100% white donut. And as you saw, I'm a bit of an expert, self-taught. Um, and I, and it, it wasn't dawning on me what it was. And then about an hour later, after having vaped it, I went out for lunch. And no, no, I didn't have a donut. And I, I was I was vaping it, and then it hit me. Do you remember making cakes when you were a kid? Your mother would mix all the batter together, and you go, mm -hmm. uh, that's to me what it tastes like. Um, it does have the powderness to it, but it, it's mainly that batter. And it is amazingly good. Um, so good for me, for me, in my opinion, that I've been going through withdrawal because I have a problem with uh, my temperature control device and all my uh, tanks had uh, titanium coils in it. So um, I had to wait. I couldn't find said Limo 2 and um, 
when I finally locate it, I decide I'm going to rebuild it, put new cotton in, and then try it on here. Folks, if you're looking for that type of a, um, a, a batter with a bit of powder, a bit sugary, but it's not sweet, you really don't get the sugar kick. It is really nice. That's white and code by vapemeat.ca. I'm going to change tanks. We're going to try another juice. The next juice that I'm looking at is called can I get it on there? Violet. And um, this is listed as a strawberry and blueberry with cream. And uh, I put this in a newly built Nemo 2. Um, it does have a 1.1 ohm coil and I'm vaping it at 24 watts. Um, keep in mind that it is a 20% PG, 80% VG, and again, 3 milligrams of nicotine. Here we go. It is a very fruity vape, and um, I've been sort of getting away from fruit vapes of late. However, this sort of brought me back a bit. Um, it is a mixture of strawberry and blueberry, but the blueberry, I find, in my opinion, is very, very faint. Um, it has a bit more of a throat kick to it, and I was kind of surprised at that. But um, overall, it is quite tasty. I've been vaping it all day, and I don't believe in an all-day vape, but it is really, really tasty. Um, I think they did a good job in not trying to do too much with it. The cream sort of smooths it out. Uh, and the strawberry, to me, is more prominent, although the aftertaste is definitely there for blueberries. So it does have a good combination of the two. So nice job on that. That one is called Violet. Hang in there. Let me change the tank. I'm going to get to the third and final juice. The third and sadly final uh, juice uh, that I have from Encode is called Fuchsia. Sorry, it takes a little while to get that in focus. Um, reminder, 20% PG, 80% PG, and 3 milligrams of nicotine. Um, it's listed as a pomegranate and cherry um, cantaloupe vape. Um, I put this in my Delta 2, and again, talk about continuity, 1.1 uh, ohms, and again, at 24 watts. Now, I have to be honest, the white uh, was the reason why I placed the order in the first place. So that's what I went looking for, uh, that type of uh, bait. And I usually try to keep the best for last. In this case, I think I did it again. Um, I've been looking for a cherry vape. Now, they're talking about pomegranates. They're talking about cantaloupes. The, the taste that I'm getting, the prominent taste is cherry. Whether that's cut and maybe... What makes it really good by the pomegranate flavoring and the cantaloupe flavoring, I'm not a mixologist, so I'm not 100% sure, but I am getting very nice, not strong, but nice cherry taste. It's a smooth throat hit. It's not harsh, which I really appreciate. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, my look for a cherry vape has stopped. This thing really fit the bill. Very, very nice. Um, you know what? I was leery because my history of trying cherry vapes was not very good. However, this one, they hit it right on. So that is fuchsia. So that is it, folks. This is really good juice. They have the three flavors thus far. I hope they continue this trend because they, they really did a great job with these juices. Just hang on a sec because I like to try one, at least one, in a dripper, and I think... I've chosen which one I want to try. If you were guessing, yes, I chose Fuchsia. Put it in my Velocity, which I also got from uh, vapemeat.ca. Um, really good um, dripper, in my opinion, easy to use. And uh, it's a 0.4 ohm coil at uh, 50, uh, 60 watts. So here we go. Um, I find the flavor pops a bit more on the dripper, you're getting more of the cherry, but I want to point out that I am I lean more towards tanks, because I think the majority of people vape uh, with tanks, and it's just it's just more practical. 
I always like to try one in a dripper to see how it is. Um, it, it probably is more um, direct, if you will. And uh, the taste of this is this cherry is just popping out at me. Very, very nice indeed. So that, that are the three. The white, which to me was like a cake batter mix after, you know, you've mixed it. Or, you know, your mom has. Uh, if you're a kid. Really, really tasty. And um, unfortunately, I loaded some in to a, a, a tank that has a um, titanium coil and my machine crapped out. So I'm just waiting for a replacement and can't wait to get back to that. Uh, the second juice I tried was uh, violet which was a very, very nice combination of strawberry and blueberry with very faint uh, cream uh, to smooth it out in, in the combination of the two. And then my favorite of three, which was a fuchsia, which was more cherry than anything and a tasty cherry. So it didn't have that strong uh, cherry in your face cherry taste. So I really enjoyed that. You're going to want to try these. Um, I don't, you know, I'm lucky in that the juices that I, I sent, I'm either choosing them or they sent it to me and hope for the best. Vape Me has a great history, and they sure as hell didn't let anybody down. I want to thank Joey and the gang of Vape Me for trusting me with their juices. Um, again, great people, great service, great website. Go check it out. And I want to thank all of you for dropping by. You know, I like having you over. Stay healthy and happy vaping. Take care, folks.